Hey, what's up guys? This is John from George Stream TV. In this video, I want to kind of walk through the OTA update, which what the OTA update does is it updates the firmware on the device. So the way you access that is go in your app section, then go ahead and go down to the OTA app, which is right here, OTA updater, click that. And then what you can do is lots of times if there's an update available, you go into it and it's going to tell you that there's an update that's available. So you would click download. Uh, if not, you can always click available updates. All right. Now what this does, of course, it tells you what's going to be the change in the new version. So this is updating it to Kodi 16.0. Uh, it's adding an app for your iPhone, uh, which you can find in the app section. It's also uh, adding a app store now. So it's going to be a Zoom Tech app store, which is going to be in the favorite section and also in your uh, app section. And what that's going to be used for is there's tons of different apps that you can add to the device. Uh, so it just makes it real, real easy to do that. Uh, one thing I'm in the process of trying to get uh, set up, um, which I have to have uh, you know, the engineer that I work with out of China to go ahead and assist me with this part of it because I don't handle this. Uh, but I'm going to get them to go ahead and put Movie HD and Showbox and Cartoon HD and Megabox HD and different things like that right there in the App Store. So it's easy access to uh, download those. Uh, right now, of course, uh, you can download those from my website. But, you know, it'd just be a little bit easier for everybody to do it if it's right in the App Store. Uh, the next thing you see there says, please make sure to choose Wipe Data and Wipe Catch after you download. Otherwise, Cody will not replace successfully. So that's really important. Really important. I'm going to go through that process for you. Uh, as you can see, it's not super, super long for this process to take. If it does take a while, uh, it's either because your internet is slower or because the server is tied down and a lot of people are trying to do the OTA update at one time. So, but as you can see, I mean, that was what two minutes. All right. Now the very important part here is wipe data. And then of course, wipe catch. At this point you want to click install. You want to click install once again. All right, now it's starting to do the install process right here. One thing I do want to touch on is if you get a message that pops up whenever you click that and it says super sue deny request, all you need to do is it's going to take you back to the main screen of the OTA update. Go ahead and click on where it says available updates and it's going to ask you to do the install again. It's not going to do it with a full install. So it's very, very quick and very easy to do. So just follow through the same steps, do that, then make sure you click wipe data and wipe catch, and then it, it'll go through that time. So for whatever reason, uh, that is an error that does pop up from time to time. So I did want to at least touch base on that and kind of let you guys know uh, how that's set up. Uh, right now, what it's doing is um, it's installing the system update. So what this does, it's like doing an update on your phone, whether you have Android phone, iPhone, or whatever it happened to be. Whenever there's a software update, you know, you basically are going through this same exact process. So what this is, is it's a software um, update or a firmware update, and it's going to make changes to the firmware. Now, one thing that that does do is it's going to completely wipe out the current firmware that you have set up. If you have anything that's saved on there or anything like that at all that you've added, I'm going to let you know right now that will be erased. Uh, there's no way to get around that. Uh, you have to fully wipe the device to install the new firmware. So, you know, be aware that will happen. So I don't want anyone getting upset and saying, well, I had this installed and I did your OTA update. Now it's gone. I'm making you aware right now that will happen. In most cases, it should not be very complicated at all uh, to go ahead and, um, you know, uh, reinstall or download or whatever it is that that process might be. So, but uh, it's continuing to load right now and on the device itself throughout this whole process it will say boot so b-o-o-t uh, is what it's going to read on the device why this process is happening the screen's going to go blank uh, like it is right now you know don't be uh you know scared or think something's wrong or anything like that uh that's all just part of the process it will go blank uh and it's continuing to do the install right now or the update and that's why on the device itself, it, like I said, it, it will still say boot at this point. So you kind of just have to bear with it, allow it to finish its process. And uh, it shouldn't take a whole lot longer uh, to do this. Uh, I know right now we're just staring at, staring at a black screen here. But, you know, I, I did want to go through this whole process so you could see how it, it's done step by step. 
uh, and let you see the whole process play out. So that's why we're staring at this black screen right now. So, but uh, let's, let's continue to go ahead and let this do what it needs to do. Uh, after this is done, what would need to be done at this point is the device setup, uh, which I'm going to do a separate video on that um, because you use that same device setup video if you happen to do a factory reset. So I did want to make that video itself separate. Uh, before I break to the next video, I wanted to go ahead and allow this process to continue to load. Uh, I know you can't see the device right now, but it says boot still. Uh, which once again, it means that it's still doing the install. So there you go. Once that screen pops up, you know the install is done. And from here, you would use the device setup uh, process. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video on that note. And if you have any questions, uh, droidstreamtv at gmail.com. Thanks.